And this is the home of the late Joyce Mpanga, a prominent Ugandan politician, educationist, and Buganda Luchiko member who passed on today morning. About 5 a.m., she was pronounced dead on arrival at Kampala Hospital. It is suspected it was a cardiac arrest. She was a senior citizen and was going to celebrate her next birthday was going to be 91 years. Mpanga, who has been a politician, women's rights promoter and educationist over the past six decades, served the government in different capacities and the Buganda Kingdom. According to the official funeral arrangements released by the family, the deceased will be buried on Thursday next week in Maya. Her funeral will be preceded by funeral service at St. Paul's Cathedral, Namirembe, on Wednesday. For the funeral arrangements, uh, they are quite detailed. Uh, she was a resident at Lunguja, and so her area church, the local parish church, has requested and the family has agreed to a service on Monday, starting at 2 p.m. at St. Stephen's, Lunguja. There will be a funeral service at St. Paul's Cathedral, Namirembe, on Wednesday, 22nd November, starting at 2 p.m. And then the burial is at Maya, ancestral grounds at Maya, uh, on Thursday, 23rd November. The send-off service on Thursday will start at 11 a.m., and the burial will, take, will start at 2 p.m. The deceased's children describe her as a loving and welcoming mother who wished everyone well and never gave up on them as the eldest son, Peter Mpanga, shares. Whether you were a relative or not, he would welcome you. And he was particularly uh, interested in people in, her, in, in imparting good manners into People generally, but uh, his family in particular, uh, to make sure that we're good citizens, well behaved, and uh, also as, well, as welcoming to other people as possible, uh, as she was. Even when she was widowed at an early age, Mpanga adds that his mother's love for Buganda Kingdom was passed down to all of the children, with some serving the institution like the mother and late father. It almost came naturally. We kind of uh, found ourselves, felt that, you know, we belonged first and foremost to an entity called the Buganda Kingdom. And uh, our two parents, this, in, this, in this case you're talking about my mother, uh, so loved the king and the entire institution that she instilled that love. Several legal brains have also condoled with the family. I take, I take, of course, the, this opportunity to commiserate with the senior council Mpanga and the quietus of the mother, uh, which was Joyce Mpanga. Uh, that family is extremely monumental. The contributions that we have had, other than of giving us the best brains in the country, are also equally immense in terms of the Republic of Uganda. Losing her, of course, includes, among others, celebrating her life. I tell you, this country has lost somebody who has been a champion of several noble causes, including but not limited to Framing of the Constitution of 1995, the country will miss Honorable Joyce Impanga. Prayers are to be held at the deceased home in Lunguja every evening from today until Wednesday when there will be an official vigil. Benjamin Jumbe, NTV Weekend Edition.